Welcome to probably one of the most boring unboxes ever. The Sony Xperia 1 Mark III is finally also here and this is the box as you can see here. So let's get started. So this is the Xperia 1 Mark III box and basically what changed is just the writing from 1 Mark II to 1 Mark III and uh, that is mostly everything you can see very boring box on the back you can see the specs again so we have a 12 megapixel 12 megapixel 12 megapixel and 3d itof sensor 8 megapixel front uh, 4k hdr oled 16.5 centimeters 6.5 inches 4500 milliampere hours battery qualcomm snapdragon 888 12 gigabytes of ram and ip6568 water and dust resistance and yeah it's a pretty boring box because in order to yeah save on waste and uh, plastic um, sony decided to do everything less plasticky so everything is more paper like i'm not sure if this is a great option but anyway to open it up you have to do this one here and yeah in order to get rid of plastic and the first thing that you see is a phone wrapped in plastic uh, not a good idea so sony maybe in the future you can get rid of this plastic bag as well so this is the phone in a frosted black material as you can see here and yeah looks gorgeous but we will take a look at this uh, later so that's the phone put it aside here we have some paper materials and uh, yeah instead of plastic they use a lot of paper as you can see here warranty and uh, certifications and a uh, nice little booklet that tells you how to insert the sim you can see we have a sim card slot but we also have the possibility to put in a micro sd card so you can upgrade it ah, even more paper here so lots and lots of paper sony if you want to be environmentally friendly get rid of the paper and the plastic bag here uh, then this is also made out of paper so it's not plastic also some kind of paper and what we have here is the 30 watt charger wall charger as you might see here if i go a bit closer there you probably can see it and read it output should be 30 watts it's a bit of a bigger brick and it's also hey actually it's written here there we go usb pd 30 watt charger usb type c which is interesting so not a it's a bit of a bigger brick than you usually get and we will have the usb type c cable in here as well that allows you to charge usb type c to usb type c pretty stable cable pretty large and big cable as you can see here so yes this is the usb cable but what we don't have is and here's the space for it a headphone uh, inside last time they had the one of the best headphones the sony mh 750s still in there but this is not the case anymore so this is basically what you will get in the box and this is the phone itself let's get rid of the plastic and yeah this is a gorgeous 4k screen here as you can see and uh, we will turn this device on let's take a look at the back it feels a bit hefty here i have to say and here we can see the great new camera system consisting of almost the same camera lenses as last year but with the periscope one added which allows you to have variable zoom between 70 and 105 so it's 2.9 to 4.4 times zoom 12 megapixel main camera and the ultra wide angle camera as well 12 megapixel all autofocus all fast autofocus pretty cool sony logo here some kind of sticker that you can get rid of and it's a frosted black material which looks nice and you can see no fingerprint magnet anymore which is also pretty cool yeah then of course at the top edge here we will have a bit hard to see there we will have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack we have a microphone and at the bottom we have usb type c 3.1 another microphone and at the front we have here a speaker and we have here a speaker so dual stereo speakers on the right side we have a bunch of buttons as you can see here volume rocker 
power button with fingerprint reader google assistant button but as you can see here it is like indented into the frame so you don't accidentally press it you can put even like uh can hold a phone screen holder a phone a selfie stick or something like this and put it here it will not accidentally press the button which is cool and we have the there you can see it better the slightly engraved uh, there's a pattern engraved onto this button uh, this is the two staged shutter button which is also pretty cool so this is the unboxing of the xperia one mark three i will go now outside and we'll play a little bit with the device turn it on first of all and we'll of course do all the settings that are necessary to set this phone up and then we will see how it will look like and i will do some sample shots already and talk a little bit about the device google nowadays has also a nice uh, feature where i can just simply this is my xperia one mark ii and this is the xperia one mark iii you can simply copy over data from the one mark ii to the one mark iii so everything i have to do is just click on next i have to give in the confirmation code the screen lock code of the xperia one mark ii i will do this now offsite and uh, hit confirm and it will then start uh, giving me the options to copy data from my Xperia 1 Mark II to my Xperia 1 Mark III. This all happens within the Google app, so it is using the Google app ecosystem. Uh, 87 apps it can copy, SMS, SM, uh, SMS messages, device settings like Wi-Fi, passwords and more. Synced automatically are Google Calendar, contacts, photos and Gmail. I click on restore. And it will start the restoring process i think they are both communicating via wi-fi or wi-fi direct or something like this to copy over all the stuff in here i can set up the backup services if i want to use google drive i can set my use location and so on i can say okay accept this and it will start copying stuff and i have the option to choose my search provider which is new so if i want to use quant i can say okay i'm using quant instead of google and i say on uh, further and again screen lock code and then it will start with the process of unlock fingerprint so i can set up a fingerprint scanner here before starting how to do it this is how you do it set my middle finger as a fingerprint and this is how it works here so this is the simple and easy first configuration wizard that allows you to use the system and copy over your data pretty cool huh this is also pretty interesting it is asking me if it is allowed to install some uh, apps here by default it is like uh, those two are checked so booking.com and join.com i don't need them so that uncheck them so i have less um, crapware less adware that i really don't need and i can set up if i want to use the free button navigation or gesture navigation i want to use the gesture navigation and uh, yeah that's it and uh, this is what you get after the yeah first wizard is ready on the xperia one mark three you can see it took over the uh, same wallpaper and it set quant really as the default search engine here as you can see the search widget is really quant i don't like this i will get rid of it I cannot get rid of this like this but in the settings i can and uh, it's installing quant right now <laughs> as uh, i'm not sure what happens to all the other applications because it did not copy over all the other applications that i have here on my xperia one mark ii and when it comes to adware we have netflix we have tidal we have call of duty sony headphone app i think it is downloading the headphone app yeah because i have it also here so maybe it is doing something what i see is that it has finished setup it has already the xperia system set up here the update that uh, came and some other stuff that is going on and is downloading stuff here as well completing the setup so as you can see here completing setup is like installing uh, one out of 87 applications so it is not copying over the application configuration but it is uh, just copying over the config list 
the, the, the list of installed applications and installing them and uh, also installing Quant as my default search engine. Yes, yeah, so this will take a while and then hopefully also the icons will set up and rearrange the same way. I'm not so sure about this, we will see. So, uh, front facing video test with the Xperia 1 Mark III and uh, how's this uh, looking like? I don't think they updated the sensor but they did a lot with software and at least in photos the HDR effect is now a lot better. So how's the video, how's the stabilization, how's HDR here? It's 1080p 30 frames per second. And I think it can only go up to up to 60 frames per second on the front facing camera. This is now the back facing camera of the Xperia 1 Mark III and yeah, how stabilization, how are colors? This is 1080p, 30 frames per second, which is I think the default video setting that you get on the camera. I will test, of course, all the cameras and will do a very nice uh, camera review as well, just like always. But uh, this is what you can expect in terms of out of the box, just to attach your microphone via the headphone jack, which is pretty cool and awesome that Sony still has this and uh, yeah. This is the quality that you can get out of the box if you just press the record button with the main camera. And what I want to do right now is go to the ultra wide angle because uh, I cannot switch to the ultra wide angle while recording. I have to do a stop here right now and then switch to the ultra wide and record again. So this is now the ultra wide angle camera on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III. And this is what you can expect in terms of ultra wide angle. You can probably see the street and hear the cars in the background uh, running as well as seeing me uh, running around here in the city. And yeah, this is the ultra wide angle of the Xperia 1 Mark III. What do you think about the stabilization? What about colors and what about the focusing? I can grab one of the other devices here, the Xperia 5 Mark two and can i get a very nice focus on this one as well i hope that focusing is a bit improved on the ultra wide angle uh, so it's fast and quick but also can get a bit closer to objects than before and yeah this is the ultra wide angle and what do you think about this let's take some shots now to see how good the photography is and especially how good the periscope telezoom is so the first new thing that you will see when uh, starting the Xperia 1 Mark III is of course that there's only one camera application that is Photo Pro and if you go into Photo Pro this is how it looks like. I showed you already the basic mode, I showed you already all the other things that happened. This is uh, the basic mode as you can see here by default it shows the HDR which is uh, pretty nice and uh, yeah you have focus tracking on so if I want to track this car I can press on it and it should be able to track the car or this car maybe let's wait until it's green so let's track this car and you can see focusing and tracking is working fine and I can take a shot with the shutter button or the on-screen shutter button that is here as well and then I shot already a few photos as you can see here this is this one uh, super sharp because it was tracking this one I shot as well an old car as you can see and this one is pretty amazing because this photo I shot with the uh, telezoom the periscope one at uh, three point what is it 3.9 uh, times and uh, it was fast moving so it was just accelerating this little car from this corner here as you can see I took the shot here and you can also see probably here yeah this uh, smoke coming out of the exhaustion pipe which is interesting so it's pretty old car old timer I would say and yeah this is the shot that amazed me that I could take it and it's so sharp and good with the telezoom camera so what we want to do right now is go back to the camera and we have here one time shot let's try to zoom on this uh, on this sign here 2.9 times and now 4.4 times a bit closer as you can see and we can even do digital zoom to see if we can read the QR code it's pretty stable so 12.5 times zoom which you can do here 
so as you can see here from the quality not too bad not too bad of course you cannot zoom in like super crazy and you can see here the translation one the qr code for this one is a bit unsharp but less uh, artifacts than i would have expected and better than zooming in here in this one as well so they are doing something with their processing here it looks also pretty good with the three times three three and a half three point nine times two and two point nine times shot almost three times shot and yeah this is the other one so pretty nice indeed So what do you think about the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III and their camera capability and the device itself? Is it an interesting device for you or is Sony too late as usual? Uh, write it down in the comment section, that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching, until the next time, bye! And don't forget to subscribe and like the video, of course.